the first question is about atwood's machine you have masses m1 and m2 you have a pulley massless pulley and masses m1 and m2 are attached by a massless string find tension and acceleration find tension and acceleration let's assume that the acceleration of m1 is vertically up so what is tension and what is acceleration So what do we do when you have a pulley? Whenever you see non-zero masses, isolate M2, isolate masses, M1. All right, both masses are attached by the string so you will always have a tension and the tension is always a pulling force and it always acts vertically up tension is always a pulling force so it pulls away from the object it always acts vertically up you are given the direction of acceleration You're given the direction of acceleration. In what direction does the object accelerate vertically up? That means what? Net force is vertically up on M1. If net force is vertically up, then the force up has to be greater than force acting vertically down. What acts vertically down? M1G the gravitational force, the gravitational force, and M2G, again the gravitational force on M2. So M1 accelerates up, so you expect the length of the tension arrow to be more than the gravitational force. So let's put the gravitational force as a very tiny arrow, M1G. So you can see tension is bigger than M1G, so it accelerates vertically up. So mass M1 accelerates up, vertically up. How about mass M2? You are going to have mass M2 accelerate down, correct? So that means what? The gravitational force of M2G should be much greater than tension. So isolate masses M1 and M2. Look at the forces acting on masses M1 and M2. And then if it accelerates vertically up, force up has to be greater than force down. If M2 accelerates vertically down, then force down has to be greater than force up. So what is the equation of motion for mass M1? For mass M1, net force equals M1, M1A. So you can easily write the right side, M1A, M1A, mass M1 times A. Some students are confused. What should I put? M1A, M2A, or M1 plus M2A and all that, all right? It is M1A. What is on the left? What is What gives you net force of M1A? It is T minus M1G. If you go to the right for the mass M2, what do we have? Gravitational force is greater than tension, and that is the reason why you have acceleration down. So you say M2G 
minus t equals m to a. So let's choose a new page, t minus m1 g equals m1 a, <coughs> m2 g minus t equals m2 a. Now you add and you see t minus m1 g plus m2 g minus t equals m1 a plus m2 a. As you can see, the tension t and minus t cancels out. So what are we left with on the left side? We have m2 g minus m1 g, correct? Negative m1 g plus m2 g is the same as m2 g minus m1 g, correct? And then you have m1 a plus m2 a. Take the common g out and you get g times m2 minus m1 equals, take the common a out, m1 plus m2. Start a new page and what do we have? g times m2 minus m1 equals a times m1 plus m2. So we are asked for a, so what do we get? Divide both sides by m1 plus m2. So you get g times m2 minus m1 over m1 plus m2. Once you have acceleration, you go to any one of those two equations from before and you have the tension, okay?